There's lots to do here on PowerPoint, and I'm thrilled to introduce it to you because it's not only as a presentation, but as an instructional tool. And by the time we're done with this, we'll have done many different things with it. Uh, but uh, jump on for the ride and just know uh, one of the things what we create uh, not only would work uh, on desktop, it certainly works in uh, the whiteboards in your classroom and it might be more functional that way. So here, let's begin. Uh, you want to open up a PowerPoint and now the 13 has it right on here so you know it's a 13 and this is the newest version of it and you may have older versions uh, that uh, look differently but still will have the same uh, capacities or capabilities and if you have Mac that might be a whole nother thing but it still should have some of these basic capabilities and I'll try and uh, uh, keep you informed as we go so now just like Word when it opens it looks like this and so I'm just gonna choose the blank one here and I want a different slide so I'm going to uh, ask for a new slide here and I want this one. I'm actually going to make a couple so I have some to work with for now just to, to demo you. Now let me uh, take you back. Uh, first let's look at this. This is like um, Word that when you come over here uh, under options this should already be filled in for you here from Word because it should all be the same on your on your thing. Uh, you have this option also just like we did before to slide things to this quick bar now for example we're going to use these here so let me just see uh, I'm going to add this gallery to the toolbar and it shows up up here just like we did before so you can arrange those uh, do whatever uh, you want uh, with that I'm going to open a couple here and show you some uh, some previous ones And so you just get an idea of where we're headed here. Of course, they always have to be in the presentation mode uh, here like this. And this one is interesting, the color scheme here, uh, sixth grade math, and has uh, the instructions here on the front. So now I'm just going to click uh, a roll to the first one, and here's what it looks like. Okay, And so it says add these together. So uh, here if I click on this... I don't know if you heard the noise, but it says sorry, and I click here, it takes me back there. And same with this. And so that's what you do. That's what makes it self correcting. Uh, it allows you this when you select the right one. And then you go back, and there's several ways to do it, but this is the way I've taught to do it. And then you click to the next, and it takes you to the next one. And I'll show you how to set these up like this uh, to do this. Now, one of the things. Here, let me uh, show you the other one first. Uh, this one. This one too. Now, they, here it's a little uh, more advanced, kind of an algebraic thing, but it's the same way. If you do this, you come back, okay, you get the right one. Okay. And what I'm going to suggest, like on this, like if it's correct, not it doesn't not only collapse, but you might have voice in there or something that uh, that uh, says that, or something more than just advancing here. But uh, on the advance now, uh, you have to roll to the next one. So I would do this one a little bit. And the other thing I'm going to ask you to do is not have them uh, after we set up an initial template. Say for example, this one or uh, this one. Um, not have looks identical because I, I see sometimes it's a little hard to see that you've even moved to the next slide because they look so identical. So one of the things that you could do is certainly uh, um, uh, change the background uh, so you know that they're different. So here it's in the black. Uh, maybe we go to a blue or something, see, and just change that uh, something. Or or you could, uh, you know, do a, a, a different things like that. Um, but let's go to the blank one and let me get you started here. Uh, so you would uh, start with, um, you know, say you put a problem up here. Uh, and this is over simplistic. All right. And of course, you have to format this into something that's uh, more functional. 
and we're certainly going to center it like this and again you'll find all kinds of ways to make this nicer one of the things I'm going to suggest you also in some of these is you have them nice and make them fun but don't let them be a distraction from what you're trying to teach uh, in that respect all right and now uh, what you want here is these uh, animations here and so I have mine up on the quick bar and you really can use anything here but I'm going to start with this just to keep it kind of simple is the little square all right and I'll make uh, uh, the four of them here and that's the way you can uh, can do that or you can uh, have all kinds of different ways you can make them small and next to each other uh, however you want to do it I'm just going to give you some uh, latitude there uh, what works uh, be a little creative with them so let's uh, let's see if we can format now let's say that this one is eight and you know this one here is uh, uh, try and try and make them this way four and this one is uh, six and this one is zero and uh, of course you you format them like you would anything else here uh, let's see how big that that can take it here and you want to make it nice size so there's the 96 like that and you can find all kinds of ways to do this and again once we get this done I, w I would make this a template with that reservation that I can uh, change it from you know from slide to side so they don't all look exactly the same here all right so now we have that and uh, I'm just going to uh, have that slide available now one of the things already you want to do on all these and I'm going to remind you this several times but in the presentation mode just clicking it makes it advanced so you've got to take that off of all of them and that's in the uh, transitions here you've got to have this one off okay you could have it here you could have it on uh, just to come off this first slide but from now on otherwise it'll just move wherever they click and you want it to be on here so now how does it move well let's start with this one and this is our correct answer so in this uh, insert slide this is it here this is an all of them have an action button so I'm gonna have an action button and say I'm gonna hyperlink it and where, and where I'm gonna hyperlink it to is wherever it's going so I'm just gonna say it's the next slide uh, if it's correct uh, for now but you can have all kinds of things that it does here uh, but here let's just say it's the next slide and then here's your sounds and you literally can uh, put uh, any of these in here here's the applause one so let me show you what that's like now it comes up these aren't and I, the click is off and now I see the little finger means it's linked so let's continue first let's uh, create a correct one a correct slide like this so you're going to action it and it's hyperlinked to the next slide with applause and then what we're going to do here on this of course fix this up make this uh, nice so that it uh, it's representative of how you'd have it and you realize you can make this bigger uh, let's go like this if I put a 200 up there you get this and then you can either um, you can hyperlink this or uh, jump down to a smaller now of course I've got to have it smaller here so let's go back to about this and say um, here I'm going to insert another action button and just goes back I'm going to hyperlink this back to uh, the previous slide as always to the previous slide you don't need any sound with that but you could have it there um, I'm sorry I didn't pick uh, I have to have a button first here so I'm going to take a much smaller one here However you want to do it, um, I'm just going to say continue. Again, you can word this any way you want. However you want to do this. Now I got this, and I'm going to uh, put.
put the action button in here and always go to the previous slide here. So it should look like this now. Takes me back here. And then we will put a, a, a button here. Also, we're going to start with a shape. And we'll have a little rectangle. And again, I would make this a different color. I would format this to um, something that stands out. And when I want to go to the next slide, I better put a slide in here that I can have. And you would have another uh, problem there, but now as I go up here, uh, I'll have it linked. Okay, go back to insert, the action button, to the next slide. Now I pop this up. Okay. So first I see where do I have here? Oh, I know this one. I have to redo this one. So hyperlink to the next slide, and I want it to be. Um, I'm going to say this one here, slide, and I'm going to want it on slide four. And now it should stay with that. I think this how it works. Let me see here. Now I pop it up, and if I say here, continue, and to the next slide. Okay, and I think that's. Uh, let me uh, let me insert a few more here just to see if I got that, if it stayed. I think it stays now. So I got one, two, three, I'll, I'll name it. that's next. I'm gonna call this two, this three, so you know, just so you know where you're at when you do it. Four. Yeah. And now I see if I think that's all you gotta do is you have it in here. So here's the front slide. It take me to the next slide, so that's what I want. Now let's work the ones that are not correct. What do we do with those? And that's a similar pattern that we can do. So we have this already, and we better make a slide that says, uh, "Sorry, incorrect." And so let's uh, let's make this slide that. Uh, you could say sorry. How about just something? Like this, that we can. Uh, in fact, you know what we can do that'll make this more fun is we'll go ahead and put a put a rectangle in here and say we're going to hyperlink it uh, to the previous slide like we did before. And so um, here, we're going to uh, write on here. And so now it's linked to go back to where it was. So let's come back here, put it up. This one goes here. Continue goes to the next slide. One is ready for back under insert action. If they go on this one, we want it on slide six. So we look under this one here that says uh, slide right here. What slide number? And we're going to put that to six. And we'll leave those at the end like this. And here again, if they have this one, we can. What kind of a sound can we put in here? 
that's somewhat encouraging not nothing like that um, how about drum roll let's see how that sounds so now let me come here and I pop this one up and I go here and so nope so try again I click on this and it should take me back to the previous one right here so I don't have something quite right here click on this again pop it up I'm gonna come all the way up here and go like this continue takes me to the next slide oh I see what's wrong this one um, this one should be yeah back to the previous slide where that is Here's what it is, as I come back here, first here, when I this when I have continue, I want that to go, not the previous slide, the last slide viewed. That's what it is. Okay, now I got it. Continue takes me back here, and I go on to the next slide. But if I go here... It too should take me back to the last slide viewed. So I'll click on this here instead of previous slide, last slide viewed. That way it'll always bring me back here. So let's come back here, pop it up. If we go there. And now you apply the same to these here that aren't correct. So this one here, remember what we did? We said action. I'm going to hyperlink it to slide number six. And you can play a sound if you want, like the drum roll, or however you want to do it. Same with this one action. Hyperlink it to slide number six. And if you want a sound, and now you can uh, uh, do, you know, go several ways here, but let's just pop it up again. This is the one. Back, and I would go to the next slide. This one. Back. Okay, and then to the next slide. Now, what I'm saying here is when you get ready, to, before you start... Uh, making copies of this and what you do is just go like this you duplicate the file uh, one of the things I would suggest you do you not only change the problem but start to change these around so that they're not the same place all the time you know so that the correct one isn't always the same place and as I said the same uh, the same with the background that uh, if your first one is white let's let's have this slide a different uh, a, a different background then So on this one here, uh, let's go to, it's still got to show through, you know, it's still got to be able to see it, but you can do all kinds of funs and things with these. And, uh, and you'll find, uh, unless the student is really a low function kid, this is a quick activity. It'll go really, uh, really quick uh, with this. But you're going to create a lesson out of this uh, using, uh, using math. Oh. Before I go, here, a couple things I want to show you here. When you save this to, send, to put it in the Dropbox for me, this is what you're going to do. Here, save as. And I, I'm going to come off of here a little bit. I want this on my toolbar for this. So I'm coming here and bringing this over here. And I'm going to move that up next to that. And uh, I like this on here, and this on here. So whatever you want, you you know, put back up here like this. Okay, so now I can just hit this to save as. 
But here's what's important. On this save as, a couple things. First of all, I'm going to have you save it for me. This is important. Save it as a PowerPoint. Uh, which one is it? PowerPoint show. PowerPoint show. Give it a name. You again, here's what I'm going to have you do put your name in here with it. I know it'll be in your folder, but put your name in it with it. And now I'm going to drop it in my shared folder. And this is what yours should look like right here. Now, watch what happens. I'm going to close this out and look what happens now when I go to this. It looks a little funny. Watch what happens when I open it. It opens right up into presentation. are moved around so it comes right into presentation mode and uh, you, then you have it like that okay all right 